Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel and today in Division 2 we're going to be checking out the vendors and what we're going to be doing from now on, we're going to be streamlining it a little bit. We're not going to be going to every vendor, we're actually just going to go to the important vendors, the ones that I think you should pick up the weapons from. So if there's something from another vendor that you think is good, go ahead and feel free to leave it down in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just going to picking out things that we can optimize since it has been patched today as well as anything else that I think really is just a must buy and you must pick up but before we get started if you enjoy the content hit that subscribe and if you like the video smash that like button all right we're over here at the clan vendor and we have the tabula rasa now this is not actually a bad weapon and since optimization station has received a huge 75 percent nerf wouldn't it be too bad if i was going to pick this up i would probably reroll accuracy to damage to armor and just optimize the rest a really great talent especially for this every time we hit hit grants a stack of accuracy and stability at 75 stacks consumes them to refill the magazine so we can just kind of keep this rolling and rolling it's a very fun lmg to play with and i highly suggest it next we have the eclipse protocol gloves great gloves always just re-roll to status effects unless you are doing some kind of funky build and we have a negotiator's dilemma pass on this well actually don't pass on this go ahead and pick this up because that critical hit chance roll is great and you're going to have a god roll once you re-roll that to weapon damage now we also have the future initiative the best in slot healing gear set I don't care what anyone says this is a very amazing healing set whether you're in the raid or you're doing your legendary missions very great if you're going in legendary missions reroll to skill haste if you are running legendary or i mean the raid you're going to want to reroll repair skills other than that that's it for this one and we're going to head to the next vendor all right we're over here at the theater settlement and the first gun we have is the surge now this is a very great gun especially if you're not able to use a capacitor in your build maybe you're not able to build the stacks fast enough to make it useful in your build it comes with the talent perfect spike every time you get a headshot grant plus 25 percent skill damage for 15 seconds now this does not have the best of rolls and we're not really worried about the rolls especially if you're running just a pure skill build we're not really worried about any kind of weapon damage or anything else inside that build it's just going to be an easy no fuss no muss we don't really have to worry about hitting anything else you just have to really just worry about hitting that headshot to get that plus 25 percent skill damage and it's very good for that person who is just getting used to those skill builds who is just coming into skill damage whether you have just been playing red builds your whole division 2 career or you are just brand new to the game and you're just trying to get used to how it feels and how skill builds play i would definitely suggest picking this up all right we are over here at dz south and we have the matador and definitely with the optimization station back out and back working properly or at least nerfed to the complete ground where it should have been from the start we have a nice backpack now we'd want to re-roll this to probably critical hit damage and then we're going to want to optimize that weapon damage now it will be quite expensive but the way optimization station is set up now it's going to be very manageable even for that person who can only come on for an hour i would definitely pick this up especially if you are looking for that adrenaline rush build very great we're going to get that three percent extra bonus armor every time we're within someone within 10 meters it pairs very well with the hunter's fury set and i love this backpack and i am actually going to pick this up because i have not been able to find a good role for a long time but it looks like i gotta go in the dc and get more resources other than that there's nothing really else here that i would really recommend we do have this hard wire if you don't have that pick it up yet and this is an okay role for the true patriot but honestly i would probably just swap it out for a memento if i was running a true patriot build we also have the y'all gear but as you can see it did not roll with that great of talents and we just don't have that great of stats all right we are over at dz west and we have the virginian now this is an amazing rifle it hits like a truck with this talent perfect boomerang critical hits have a 75 percent chance to return the bullet to the magazine and on that next shot you get a plus 50 percent increased damage so if you are always hitting those critical hit chance you have a chance to almost have every bullet to do that plus 50 percent increased damage is amazing and if you can build around it and you will be able to optimize around this just re-roll that rate of fire to damage to target out of cover and start optimizing those different stats and you are going to have 
have a blast. Other than that, that's all we have at the DZs. I did want to mention one other thing. Over at the Clan Vendor, I did see there was a Mark 47 with the Frenzy Talent. If you are able to re-roll that and optimize it, it is going to be a nice LMG. Uh, the Talent is just basically for every 10 bullets, you get 3% increased rate of fire and 3% weapon damage as long as you reload on empty. And I would definitely suggest going back and picking that up if you can. It's a very fun gun to play with and a very fun talent to build around. Now that's all I have for the vendor rolls this week. Now if you are looking for other videos, I do a build video about every week. I also do tutorials and Division 2 news as well as cover different other kinds of shooter looters. Now if you are looking for anything for old players to new players, I have everything for you guys and thanks again for watching.